This is the Blackjack series of packs from Mystery Ranch. The Blackjack 50, the Blackjack 80, and the Blackjack 100. The Blackjack 50 features two external pockets with molly on the face, each of which has a detail pocket on the inside. The side of the pack has more molly for additional pouches, two side compression straps, and a bottle pocket at the bottom. Access to the main bag is either through the shroud at the top or through the full length access zippers on either side. All the external zips are IR compliant and urethane coated and feature toggles and D-rings so they can be locked out to prevent unintended opening. Like all the packs in this series, the Blackjack 50 comes on our military light frame. Military light frame has four vertical and three horizontal pure carbon fiber stays. These all feature our adjustable Futura harness with quick release buckles at the bottom of the shoulder pad and a redirect pull waist belt system. When not required, the belt pads can be folded back and restrained under this piece of elastic. All three blackjack packs also feature a zippered port at the top of the body panel for routing cables, antennae, or hydration tubes, and pass-throughs on the lid and bottom to route a jump harness. Also common to all packs in this series, the Blackjack 50 features a hydration sleeve on each inner side, capable of holding up to a three liter reservoir, and molly on the body panel for attaching radio harnesses. With 30 liters more volume than the Blackjack 50, the Blackjack 80 features four generously sized external pockets, perfect for quick access items like claymores, rain gear, or MREs. The side of the pack features the addition of a pass-through behind the water bottle pocket, which is perfect for skis or other long items. The removable lid has two pockets for organizing your stuff, is ported for hydration in the top pocket, and features a two inch strap, which can be used to convert it to an E&E &E pack. The Blackjack 100 has the same features as the Blackjack 80, with the addition of a 20 liter sleep system compartment at the bottom, which is easy to get into through our speed zip access system. This is the Beartooth pack, built on our Guidelight MT frame. The Beartooth utilizes 330D light plus Cordura fabric, which lessens the weight but keeps overall tear and tensile strength very high. Also, we use SJ Autolock buckles, which are lower profile but still totally bomb proof. As we move into the features of the pack, you'll notice it has a removable lid, which is found on several of our styles. The removable lid is great to store gear back at camp. When the lid is detached, small tuck away pockets allow you to store excess webbing, keeping everything out of the way so it doesn't snag on tree limbs or saddles. With ample compression, the bear tooth allows you to go from a three to five day hunt or more, or compress it down for long day hunts. The bear tooth has a multitude of options regarding external storage for the hunter. Small accessory pocket, it's great for headlamp, Large face compression pocket is awesome for storing your puffy jacket, hat and gloves, things you need to get to quickly for a long glassing session. And the really unique feature is the 270 degree zipper that can be utilized as a top loader or by undoing the side compression. Position wherever you want for easy access, perhaps to a spotting scope, kill kit or food. The zipper also opens, as mentioned, 270 degrees to allow full access to the entire contents of the bag. When fully open, the bear tooth allows for easy access to the main compartment of the bag, as well as two organizational pockets, which work great for things like hat and gloves, food, headlamps, and then once you dive into the main compartment itself, easy access to your hydration system, kill kit, extra layers, or spotting scope. The bear tooth has several options for weapons carry. Face compression works great for bow carry, while side compression works best for rifle carry. To attach a rifle, undo the three side compression, insert the butt of the rifle into the side pocket, and then simply rebuckle your side compression straps 
make sure everything's tight and ready to go, and you're ready to head out. The Beartooth Pack is built for the hunter who values organization and easy access to the essentials while out on the hunt. What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Everly Stock HQ. We've been having a ton of questions about one of our brand new packs, the F5 Switchblade. So I brought in mine so I could show you guys a little bit about it, what I like about it, and then also some of the functionality behind it. So at first glance, one thing you'll notice about this pack, unlike a lot of others, is that it has a flat bottom. So it makes it really easy to set it down on something and not have to fight to get into it because you're constantly doing this. So similar to the trick packs, the Switchblade has rare earth magnets on each side of it, which gives you ambidextrous access to the concealed carry compartment in this pack. So in mine, for example, I can reach in, I have the Walther PPQ 45 pistol. So this concealed carry compartment can work for a full frame semi-automatic like this, all the way down to something like a 380. And the nice thing is, you know, the shape of the pocket is tapered like a V, so this isn't gonna rattle around inside. It sits down on the bottom nice and firm, but yet you don't feel it um, in your back when you have your pack on, so it works really well. So there's a lot of uh, different ways to organize your gear in this pack. On each side, you have a cup holder compartment that can either um, constrict or expand to fit different bottle sizes. There's also a long side pocket that works really well um, for skinny, uh, tall items. That's on both sides. And then there's, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a very large oversized front stuff pocket right here. And this works great um, for cell phones and battery chargers and things like that that you want quick access to without necessarily getting into the main body of your backpack. And looking at the bag from this angle, you can see it has our adjustable harness. So you can um, open this Velcro up and move this harness either up or down depending on your torso size. You notice it also doesn't come with a hip belt. However, um, this can be used. You can put a hip belt on and use it with any of our hip belts that come with our packs because they're removable. There's a small lid compartment on the top that has some different organizational pockets. So if you're a tactical guy, you can put spare magazines, pocket knives, you know, little notebooks, things like that that you want to organize in a smaller pocket. Our main compartment is also accessed from here. You can open this zipper halfway and use this as a top loading pocket or lay it down, pull it open all the way and use it as a front loader as well. Inside the main compartment, we have a hook for hanging a hydration bladder as well as a long uh, pocket where you can hang the bladder and it is compatible uh, through this opening here. This document divider is also really handy for putting things like tablets, laptops um, that you necessarily don't want just getting smashed around with the rest of your stuff. There's also some small divider pockets here on the sides that can help you stay better organized as well. And then um, there's a little bit of traditional molly in here if you have um, some smaller pouches and things you want to add, as well as this Nylex um, on the, the front of the document divider and then on this uh, front panel. So we're in the process of designing some accessory items and pouches that can be just mounted directly to the Nylex. And that's a very durable, uh, but yet firm uh, attaching uh, material for these accessories. So it's gonna be pretty cool when we get those out. So one thing about the F5 Switchblade is it has a, a plastic frame sheet inside it to give it some structure but it doesn't have an internal frame. So if you're gonna be hauling something or carrying something that's over you know, 30, 35, 40 pounds, you might wanna add it to a harder frame to pack, something with a belt, like the M1 carrier frame. So I'm gonna show you how to, easy it is to do that using our hookup kits. So one thing you'll notice on these carrier frames is they have these webbing loops. Our hookup kits come with four pieces of webbing with two metal hooks on each side. So all you have to do is take the hook, put it into the webbing loop, put your pack on over the top, and then you secure the hook onto your pack webbing loop. And you'll notice that just in a few seconds, you're able to secure your switchblade pack to the carrier frame. 
So now that the F5 is mounted to the M1 carrier frame, we have the strength of the aluminum Intex 2 frame with our F5 switchblade. So if you were gonna haul a heavy load, something like that, using the hip belt and the frame, it's gonna be way more comfortable. If you were gonna do something like hunt with this setup and needed to pack meat, or maybe you're packing a tree stand or something along that line that it's not gonna fit into the bag, all you need to do is move the hookup kit from these front webbing loops on your pack to the back webbing loops here, and that is gonna create a gap. You can then loosen these straps as well to separate that out further and then sandwich everything together over your load. So if you had something that's heavier and bigger you wanted to carry, you could put it against the frame. So for me personally, I love this pack. Like I said, it's my everyday carry pack. Um, just when I'm carrying around town, I carry the switchblade by itself, but I've used it for um, some longer extended backpacking trips and hunting, things like that. And when I do that, I put it on the carrier frame just so it can use those heavy loads a little bit better. But this is one of my favorite packs. I hope you guys check it out. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us or visit everlystock.com. Appreciate it.